Are you feeling like a failure? Have you always kind of had that feeling like needed to do something else in your life to do and you haven't done it? Do this. This is Ryan Talks. Welcome to my channel. So the first thing that I want you to do, if you're feeling like a failure, whatever that means to you, you have to identify what that actually means. That can mean so many different things to so many different people. It, I mean, some things that, you know, might not be failures to other people are failures to you. So identify, number one, the 100%, the, the thing that you have to do first is what does that actually mean to you? Because if you don't know what that means, you can't do anything about it. Once you've really sat down and thought about what it is that you uh, that makes you feel like a failure, and really think about this and really ask yourself questions. A sit down in a room, be in front of a mirror, do whatever you have to do, ask yourself, why am I a failure? Why am I a failure? And ask yourself that exact word. I know it hurts. I know it's not something fun to ask, but you will get an answer. Now, if you don't get an answer in the beginning, just keep at it, keep doing it. You will eventually get to a place where you have the answer to the question. I guarantee it. It might take a long time. It might take a month. It might take two months. It might take an hour, but you will get the answer. Now that you've done that step, what can you do about that? One thing, maybe you feel like a failure at weight loss. Feel like a total failure because you haven't gotten to your achieved weight. Now, if you're 140 pounds and you want to get to 135 pounds, that might not be genetically possible. But if you're over 400 pounds like I used to be, one of the things you can do about that is change up your diet, change up your lifestyle. But what it, what is this failure to you and what can you do about it? And don't just think this stuff. Once it comes into you, once you have an idea, write it down. I have notebooks everywhere. Write this stuff down. Because if you don't write it down and don't use your phone, Use an actual paper, notebook, whatever kind of notebook you like. Even if you like these smaller ones, like here, right here, you know, use like something like that. <clears throat> That's me brainstorming. Get a pen that you like, get a pen that you like how it writes, get a pencil, whatever it is, something that you actually like, you wanna come back to. Cause I don't know what it is that makes you feel like a failure. I can only talk about some of my old uh, issues. So one of them is always having different jobs. One of them is, you know, the weight loss thing that I talked about, but what can I do about that, right? I can, back in the day, I would go put out resumes, but right now, this is what I, I, I'm doing, the YouTube, I'm making videos. So this is an actionable thing, actionable events. <laughs> in your life that you can get out of this sense of failure. Speaking of actionable events, create a process. Like if you went to school, if you went to college, if you went to university, they give you a syllabus at the beginning of this, the semester or quarter, whatever it is for you. They give you a syllabus. Make a syllabus for yourself. What can you do? What do you have to do? What's actionable uh, process for you? And how are you going to carry that out? Don't make this too hard on yourself. If, you, if you're somebody who wants to make YouTube videos, start looking into what, what's a good thumbnail, what's a good title, start looking into that, maybe vidIQs, you know, get ideas of what keywords are, get ideas of what SEO is. If you don't even want to handle that and you got a little bit of extra money, maybe you, maybe you just make the videos and you hand it off to somebody else. Whatever this process is, maybe you want to be a chef. How are you going to go about that? Maybe, you're, maybe you don't want to go to school, so you just get a job starting off somewhere at a restaurant, kind of work your way up. Find actionable process for yourself that you can do and it, it will start at least getting in your mind that you can actually do this. Because if you try to take all of these things and do them all at once, you are going to fail. It's just, it's gonna happen. It's just the, the law of the world. The one thing that you really have to make sure that you do is live right now. You, so a lot of people, they, they create failures for themselves because they try to live in the future or in the past. Things didn't happen or didn't work out for themselves in the past or you just know it's not gonna work out in the future. If you're, you know, you, know, you applied to 50 jobs, well, They'll just they're just never gonna take me there's no point in doing that right maybe the 51st person will take you or you know maybe you know if you had the example of the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken guy he went to a thousand people before he finally found somebody that said yes live in the now do what you can do these actionable events that you can do right now for something in the future you can only create in the now God only lives in it now so you can't do anything outside of now because it's just not possible it might you might not even make it there or you might make it there who knows one really good thing that you can do is have a mantra of some kind I am going I am a youtuber I am this I am that and just start having in your mind that you are this already you can't 
bring something into your world that you think that you're not. The chef, for example, that's something I actually wanted to do back in the day. I am a chef. Just start start with that. I am a chef. I am a chef. I know it sounds phony, but once you start getting that in the mind, your subconscious, your subconscious will start actually becoming a chef. And if you start cooking every meal, you know, sooner or later, it'll eventually click in and you'll you'll get where you're wanting to go because you are that now. You are no longer what whatever it is that you have in your head anymore. You are what it is that you're looking to be. And my last suggestion is to actually meditate on this. And, and I'm not talking like, you know, hanging upside down somewhere or doing something crazy. I'm talking about just actually sit in a room like uh, Napoleon Hill. He's somebody I, I've, I've always liked listening to. We've Wayne Dyer, a couple of these guys that I've always really liked listening to. They had this way of just sitting in a room and collecting their thoughts, just collecting their thoughts and getting where they need to be mentally, not trying to control anything. Just sit in a room, just let it like if your mind is all over the place. One of the best things you can do is just sit there and let it happen and just acknowledge it. Don't try to control it. Eventually it will go away. David Hawkins talked about this as well. He talked about, you know, if you're feeling really sad, just feel as sad as you possibly can. And then your body's like, oh, maybe we don't need to do this anymore. And it'll eventually go away. Whatever emotions that you're having around this, let it happen. Don't try to control them and they will eventually go away. I've, I, I've worked on this for years, years. And it's just so amazing how easily to, to get to a place where you can actually function again. When you are almost dysfunctional, when you have that failure thought, when you have like, I can't believe this is happening to me again. It's happening to you again for a reason. The reason is you need to get this done and you just haven't done it yet. And the way, the best way to do it is watch this video again. What is it that's causing these, these uh, issues or thoughts or whatever it is in your head? And eventually you'll come to why it's happening, what you can do about it and events, uh, actionable events that you can do to move on from it. Anyway, that's all I have. Comments, questions down below, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.